Hi guys, this is Jackie Cooper with J Cooper Travels. And today I have a really special guest on. Maria has her own business. She's um, involved with fashion. She is um, a dynamite woman that has just um, so many things going on in her life. I'm super excited to share with her, uh, with you and with her today. Um, just so you know, for those that are listening to the podcast, I do have a YouTube side and this is the first of many conversations that we're going to be having. And I know that because we're talking about fashion, you might be able to hear what we're talking about. But in case as we go forward with our podcast and our YouTube, if, if uh, Maria ends up showing us anything, I'll let you know so that way you can pop over to the YouTube side as well. Because again, um, she's so creative. And I know as we continue our conversations, there might be things you actually want to see. So um, how are you doing today, Maria? I'm fine. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. So, um, why don't you um, why don't you share a little bit more about your story um, for those that are new to my podcast? Even though it says Jay Cooper travels, it's not just about travel that we do around the globe. It's also about our personal journeys and how we kind of have gotten to where we are and what's inspired us and empowered us. And um, and talking with Maria, you know, I, again, I've been so um, enchanted with your story. I, you know, I really wanted to share it with others so that way everyone else can hear what you've been, you know, working on and, and support you. Of course. So um, I was working in HR in corporate America for a few years, and um, I absolutely loved it, to be honest. I thought I was going to be there forever. And the walls just literally started caving in. And I'm like, okay, it's time for me to do something else. I didn't know what it was. And um, I was thinking like, what can I do? What do I need to do? I know that for me, helping women feel amazing was just the best thing that I could do every day. Like I love giving women compliments and seeing their face when you give them compliment. That was something that I absolutely love. So I knew I liked that, right? And then I, I knew that I loved fashion and style and everything to go with that. And working in corporate, a lot of women would ask me how I stay polished every day or how do you maintain your wardrobe every day? And to me, it was a no brainer because I had a system, right? So I'm like, I just pick out what I like. I know what I like. And they were like, well, what do you mean? You know what you like? So I had a lot of those conversations. Then I realized a lot of women were like me who did not have a to go figure out their style, who did not have the time to dig through their closets, you know, with life and, and careers and spouses and children, if we have those things, it was just something that we shouldn't have to stress out about. So I, it hit me one day and I said, I'm going to do styling. I'm going to be a style coach. And that, you know, started the journey of me doing what I do now. And I absolutely love it. And I can so relate. I mean, I, um, my background's as a lawyer, but I'm also a teacher, a special ed teacher, and I'm also an entrepreneur. So a lot of times we have more than one thing going on. And depending upon um, what we're doing, we might want to think about different things to wear at different times. Um, I mean, I know right now with everyone, um, and we'll talk about this with COVID going on, everyone has sort of got into the casual look, um, you know, but again, there's casual on Zoom and then there's casual outside. So there's all difference. Um, I, I know that um, you have sort of kind of coined different phrases. And one of the things is you've talked about a grab and go wardrobe. What does that mean really? Can you? Yes. So a grab and go wardrobe is literally a wardrobe that is catered to you and your lifestyle that you can go in, grab, put on and look amazing every single day. And it's so funny. A lot of women feel like they can't have that. They feel like they have to be a celebrity or someone who gets styled every day in order to look like that. Um, I remember having a client and um, I was asking her how she wanted to look. And um, she said, I just want to look like I'm on a Hallmark channel every day, if that makes any sense. And I knew exactly what she was talking about. I knew exactly where to shop for her. And like later down the line, she went on vacation. She said, I just want you to know that I look like I was on a Hallmark channel for the last three days. So um, <laughs> like, it's something that you literally go in your closet, you grab it and you, it's a guarantee that you're going to look amazing because you have pieces in your closet that fit and you love. Now, 
all of us have things that we think we look good in, at, but maybe we don't. But that's a whole nother story. Um, <laughs> so um, now, can I have another question that you know people um, ask is, can I have style without keeping up with my friends? So how do you how do you navigate that? Because um, I mean, as women, a lot of times we want we we need to feel good about ourselves but we also sometimes we look and we see what other people are doing so how do you how do you kind of balance that well i let women know all the time the trends are going to constantly change that is the beauty of the fashion industry one day something's in the next day it's not style when you have your own style is totally different when you have a style that's catered to you how you feel your lifestyle it can transcend past all of the trends and you can maintain your look and still be in style and still be on point because you have the pieces in your closet that's going to always be there you know i feel like of course you know with your own style you can have trendy pieces you can add trendy pieces to your style of course but um you do not have to keep up with the trends and your friends in order for you to be stylish you know so what about um budget you know because um a lot of times um we want to have a, a great wardrobe but um we might not have a lot of money and then there are there's such a variety of stores right now i mean how do you know where to go and then also how do you know how to balance the time of searching because of such a variety of stores okay so the first one about um, how do I know where to shop for my, yeah. each of my clients. And it's funny because each of my clients have a totally different style. Like I literally have to cater to each one of them. Um, and they have a different lifestyle as well. I, I do a deep dive in my client's life. So I'm like, what are you doing on your day to day? How do you want to feel? How do you want to show up? Um, what colors do you like? What are some celebrities that you look at and you say she looks amazing every day i look at all of that and i bring it all together and then i know what you need in your closet what i do is i help women get like the basic pieces they need to create their grab and go wardrobe like i don't i don't fill your closet with the trendy pieces i fill it in with the pieces that you you can go from season to season in right so i had my last client that i had she didn't have any pull on pants or any pants that she could just throw on in different colors. Well, because she has little boys under 10, she needs, even though she's, you know, a, a high ticket accountant, she needs pieces that she can put on. She can still look good in whether she's going to the store or the park or whatever. So that's what I ordered her. So that's what I do. I do a deep dive. I see what you need. And that's how I shop. And I literally go online. I, you know, put in pieces and, you know, whether you're petite or curvy or whatever, I find them in, I don't know how I thank God, but my, my online shopping rate of, you know, going to clients have been at least 99%. So, so I'm, you know, fortunate to find really good things for my clients and shoes and everything, you know? And um, so that's what I do. I do that deep dive. And a, a lot of times people don't realize that you can't just go to the store and buy something because it looks good on somebody. You have to, is this feasible for my lifestyle type stuff? You know, you have to ask those questions. And those are the questions that I ask. So if you, can you have something in your closet that will last a while and still be stylish? Or does oh, yeah. like this blazer I've had for at least two years, at least two years. I've had shoes in my closet for five you know, so definitely. So when do you, talking about shoes and other clothing, when do you, because sometimes we hold on to things way too long, when do you recommend that we let it go just because of maybe it's a little frayed, maybe it's just, you know, I mean, sometimes holes in the knees is style, but sometimes it's just old. <laughs> yes. So when I'm talking to my clients, and this is this is one of the, it's not tough, but some of my clients are like, oh my God, I've had that for 15 years, right? So I have to have conversations with them. Like, so this is how I feel about getting rid of clothes. And I call my bag the gotta go bag. Like this has to go. It gotta go. Okay. So one, if it has holes and it's frayed and you know that you is it is outside of you going to get it fixed put it in the gotta go bag two 
if there are pieces in your closet you can't fit and you're like, I wore this 10 years ago and I looked amazing in these jeans, put them in the gotta go bag, the dress, the jeans, the top. And I say that because I have a lot of clients and I know a lot of women who hold on to pieces that they can't fit anymore. And when they look at it, it doesn't make them feel good. Like, I know that I'm not gonna be a size four anymore. I'm a nine, 10, okay? After these babies, it's no way that I'm getting back into <laughs> So me holding on to those size fours is not going to make me feel good about myself. So I tell my clients, put in the got to go bag because you're not going to feel good about it. And then the last one is, if you know you haven't worn it in 30 to, 9, 30 to 60 days, just get rid of it. Because if you have a piece or pieces in your closet that you love, it's, it's, it's something that happens in your mind. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear that dress. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear that top. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear those shoes. So if you're not feeling like that and just sit in the back, just get rid of it, you know? <laughs> what happens if you think that you have an event coming up that you're going to need that for? <laughs> now, if you can fit it and it's something that you feel like, you know, eventually like now with COVID, we can't really do that that much stuff, right? Next year, the world is going to open back up and you might have that dress that you haven't worn all year long. Keep the dress. If it fits, it looks good on you, keep it. But girl, if you know you're not going to wear it and you're like, oh, just put in a gotta go bag. <laughs> so um, what are the three pieces that you would recommend that um, every woman has in their closet? Yes. Yeah, so one is a blazer. I feel like every woman should own at least one blazer. And I'm not talking about the stuffy ones that are really tight. They make them really nice. Spandex, like, like the one I have on, spandex material, um, very stretchy. And I say that because you can throw a blazer on a tank top or a t-shirt and it will dress up your whole outfit. So that's something that I recommend. Number two, if you can't wear heels, pointed toe flats. And I say that because a lot of women wear ballerina flats and I feel like ballerina flats are for ballerinas. That round toe is just not chic. So pointed toe flats is my second one. And three is a staple set accessories whatever that is for you. So it could be like a pair of pearls, you know, pair of um, cubic zirconia or diamond earrings and a bracelet or a necklace to match. Something that, you know, if you have to dress something up really quickly, a little black dress or something, you have a set that you can put on and it just makes you look polished. So those are my top three. So for those that might be listening, know that in the podcast area, as well as on the Zoom area, there will be contact information so you can actually reach out. What's the name of your business? I know um, you, we forgot to talk about that. Yes, um, my business is called Stylishly You. And I named it that because I want every woman I work with to be stylishly themselves, like stylishly fill in the blank with whatever your name is. So that's why I named it Stylishly You. So um, I, I was about to say that your contact information will be in the podcast block, but if someone wanted to reach out to you and have you help them, what's your process? How do you do this? Yeah, so we have an initial call. So they'll book a call with me. It's called a capsule call. And um, it's 30 minutes and we talk and I consult and I ask them like what your style direction is. It's a really fun call. I, even if a, a client does a book for me, those calls are fun because to hear women in their style direction is just amazing. So um, it's a fun call. We talk about what your style direction is, why you think you need to level up your style and how I can help you in that area. And then if you book with me, I send you your welcome packet. The welcome packet has everything in it um, from step one to nine of what we're gonna do in our time working together. And I shop and I fill your closet up with 15 pieces that you need. So, and I get that from our closet edit. We have to do a closet edit. And then after that, I'm like, you don't have tank tops. You don't have any black heels. Like, you know, so those are things we're like, yeah, can you please purchase it for me? Yes, I'll find them for you. So I fill your closet up um, with 15 items. Each item that I put in your closet goes directly to the site. And you're able to just put your card in. It's, it's no hassle. You'll be able to put your card in and just order it straight from the website. And then after that, um, we either do one or two things. We'll do a mix, mix and matching session where we get on a Zoom call and I show you six ways to wear your t-shirt or six ways to wear the top that you just purchased. Or if you prefer, I can make you a style lookbook. And it'll be the same thing, but it'll be pictures. So 
So that way you have it to reference for later. Um, if you're more of a visual person. And then after that, um, after all your pieces get in, I do a follow-up call and we do a try-on haul. If they want to do a try-on haul with me, if they, because nine times out of 10, my clients, after we work together for a little while, they go and get their own stuff. And like, you won't believe what I just picked up. I feel so good about it. So if they get it, we do the try-on haul and I show them how to wear that as well. And then that is it. It's not a long process, but the process that, you know, we work together with, you'll know your style and you'll literally have a wardrobe that you smile about every day. You know what? It sounds absolutely amazing. I mean, I think that so many women uh, need your, your support and it makes it sound so easy, you know, because sometimes when we go out and we're looking, we struggle because all of it, you know, we're trying to figure out, does it look good? Do I feel good? you know, is this something that I'm going to wear, you know, and sometimes we get things and then later we bring it home and then we thought, what was I thinking? <laughs> yes. yes. So I think everyone should be reaching out to you for sure. And um, again, we are going to have continuing conversations. We're going to talk about um, when seasons change, you know, yeah. what do you what should you think about in your wardrobe you know yeah. and just like when you you know when you're about to travel because everyone knows i'm in the travel space so when you travel what should you be packing you know in your in your luggage yeah. i mean i yeah. know that i have traveled um the over the years it's changed and i've whittled it down now so i'm like a backpack and a small carry-on but that has taken a lot of effort because my daughter will laugh. She says, I take everything with me because I want to kind of be able to choose as I go. And so that's a whole nother conversation is how do yes. you know what to have in your luggage because your closet's not with you. Yes. Yes. And I love talking about stuff like that because I always talk to, I've had a client who was to travel and she stay out for five to seven days for work. And um, I created her a capsule, a travel capsule, yep. where she could just pull from it. And she was like, oh my, why didn't I think of this? I'm like, I don't know. Because <laughs> exactly. I can't imagine being stressed out. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, so for everyone who's listening to the podcast, definitely subscribe on the YouTube, subscribe on the podcast side so you can you know, hear continuing conversations because fashion is fun, but it also, like you said, when you feel good about yourself, you carry yourself differently. You, yes. you know, the everything about your life, you know, is just a little bit better. So true. It's so true. So anything else that you want to share with our listeners? Um, because uh, again, um, I feel like we just, we're going to have a smorgasbord and this is just like the appetizer. <laughs> that, um, I, I say this after all of my podcasts that it is totally feasible to look amazing every day of the week. And it's something that is attainable. You don't have to have a lot of money to do it. You don't have to have a big spending budget to do it, but it's something that you will not regret. If you look good every day, you won't regret it. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on. Um, everyone who's listening, definitely um, look at the contact information on the podcast, reach out. Um, so that way you can become your own stylishly you and feel good about yourself. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Of course you too.